Hey, it's me, Maisie, with SureCall. We came out to where we found terrible signal so that we could do a test with our signal boosters. We're actually going to try the SureCall Fusion To Go 3.0 and compare it to the WeBoost Drive 4GX. So we're out here in the gorge where the high canyon walls really block out signal. And so we have really low to unusable signal and it has a tendency to drop all calls. So we have both boosters set up the same. We just did a soft install. So we have both outside antennas set up here on the roof of the car. We have both boosters just sitting here on the back seat. And we've got both inside antennas mounted here on the dash. We did five tests and all of the results were right around the same area. So we picked this one because it was the average. So first we'll start with the sure call. With no booster on, we're at negative 114. So I'm gonna flip it on here and put it right over. Let's see what happens. So negative 73, which is awesome. So with the signal boosters off again, we're back at negative 110. So I'm gonna turn on the Wii Boost. So we have it on there. It might take a second to update. So negative 98. So it looks like we're kind of just staying at negative 98. So now we're going to try a speed test here on this iPhone. We're going to start with the Fusion to Go 3.0 and see where our speeds are. So with that we have upload speeds of 1.4 and download speeds of 12.0 and now we're going to try the WeBoost Drive 4GX. So now with the WeBoost Drive 4GX let's do another speed test. So for this one, the download speed is 4.3, which is about a third, and the upload speed is 826.8 kilobits, which is also worse. So there you have it. Both signal boosters did improve the signal, but the SureCall Fusion To Go 3.0 clearly outperformed the WeBoost Drive 4GX and more than doubled the data speeds. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel, and we'll be back every week with more videos. See you next time. Thank you.